Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous run we went through and went and worked with Aaron, Hammurabi, Rune, our trap maker, we have Maggie. We, we tried out a whole bunch of new people. Aaron unfortunately came to quite a lot of stress. But overall I think it was an actually decent week in terms of profits. We managed to get a few different trinkets, uh, get a little bit of money, and yeah, I think I think we just had a had a decent time, even if uh, Aaron the um, the exorcist kind of took on a little bit too much stress, and we put a few other people in for some stress relief as well. But either way, we're gonna get in to um, the darkest dungeon and go over our new characters' backstories. Okay, so here we are in the Cursed Estate with our new recruits. First up, we have Ruby. And you may actually remember that um, her backstory ties in with Aurora's. Aurora actually spoke of her, uh, Ruby the M Musketeer, in her, uh, in her backstory. These two made their way here together. I think Ruby maybe got a little bit lost in the way and made it a few days later, a few weeks later. But uh, she's here now, and uh, this backstory was written by Seabass. First of all, she, her, she does have an, a weapon named as Smooth Sally. I love the fact that he gave them a... Uh, named weapons that adds a little bit extra to their character but yes um ruby was uh, never liked the pacifist lifestyle of the typical rich england family wearing dresses makeup appealing to the concept of proper manners all of it was such a bore she begged her parents to live another way however the gender roles were quite defined in her family outraged ruby decided to take matters into her own hands during a summer night when all were asleep ruby slipped into the weapons room in her mansion she started staring at all in awe at all the arsenal available but she saw the slender glossy musket and she knew which to take she named it smooth sally for its beauty musket in hand Ruby barged out of the house and into the woods. She lived in isolation for several years, learning various survival skills and honing her mastery of her musket. But one day, a dark figure appeared and Ruby almost shot. An, ar an arrow fired in her defense, whilst th uh, whistled through the air and she realized that she almost killed another hunter. The two met, exchanged names and became a fantastic duo. Aurora and Ruby heard about the Darkest Dungeon and decided to take a gamble. So uh, yeah, that's a brilliant backstory. I really like the fact that we're getting like friendships and sort of people that know each other. We've had a few things with like uh, Renault and Dismas uh, knowing each other before the Darkest Dungeon and things like that. I'm literally liking this synergy and friendship that we're going to have between some, as well as some rivalries that we're going to have between others. It's going to really build up onto the, uh, the characters and I'm, I'm really excited that you guys are getting so involved with that. Either way, let's move on to our next Next character. Here we have our abomination Leo, and this backstory was written by Procasadina. And this is Leo, formerly known as HEW016. A result of an inhuman experiment during the midst of war, the abomination has known nothing but suffering and pain his whole life. Forced to unleash his terrifying powers on the stalemate front lines, he quickly lost any faith he had in humanity. Not even given a proper name, he earned his current name from a discarded dog tag he found in the mud. Now having heard about the hamlet, he seeks to do some good down in the ruins before he finally passes on from this cursed realm. That is fantastic. What a brilliant backstory. I mean, the Abomination people know he transforms into a beast, and it's just so good to have him as, like, an experiment of war, and he's, like, so bruised and battered that he doesn't even have a name he just found a dog tag and it's just it's so good really really good backstory there and then let's get on to our next one Finally, we have Mary, the Keeper. This backstory was actually written by me, mainly because the Keeper is definitely one of my favorite modded classes. I think she has so many interesting things to do and she's just such a fun one to play. But yes, this is Mary, the Keeper. As part of a religious family, Mary was raised to be a devout follower of the Lord. What she did not know is that her saint of a father hid a dark secret. He longed for a daughter, praying each day for his wife to be with child, to no avail. He became increasingly frustrated with his Lord, until one day, in a bout of rage, he prayed to a higher power. He was granted a daughter, Mary, but with one caveat, she must be a vessel for demonic possession. Mary grew up having a normal life until it came to her mid-twenties when the possession reared its ugly head. One night during evening prayer, she was ripped in two um, with her body pieces two feet from each other, only connected by skin and muscle tissues. A fleshy humanoid beast reached out from within her and lashed out at her father, killing him. 
The beast would show up randomly with no warning, so Mary, stressed at half out of her mind, roamed the dark alleys of her hometown, waiting for some spot poor, unsuspecting patron to offer her help, hoping this time the beast wouldn't take over. Eventually, she was exiled and made her way to the only place she could be of any use, the darkest dungeon. So with her, I went for the full-on religious vibe that she's got going, and you'll see exactly why she um, she has this beast of sorts within her, uh, and she's going to be really, really fun for us to play with. Hopefully you guys enjoy her quite a lot. But we're going to have to have a little look at what we want to do in terms, of, uh, in terms of embarking here. So we do have a little bit of... Stuff we could spend at various places. We've still got people uh, like Linus and Rune uh, treating up um, diseases, getting rid of quirks, things like that. And then we've got um, our uh, Aaron, the Exorcist, over in there. Um, and I think I don't think we have anyone in the bar. No, we don't. But let's uh, let's go and have a little embark and see what we want to do here. So let's put these two away. So we actually can kill the Necromancer here for a Thrall uh, bonus, which would be nice. I think we do have a Thrall, don't we? Is Urku a Thrall? Urku is the Thrall, yes. Um, he could be pretty useful with that there. Repost and um, Repost Bleed Chance, both pretty good. I don't think we're ready for this yet, though. That could be pretty, pretty tough for us. So, let's have a little look. We still haven't got access to the curve yet. Let's have a look. What do we have? The Acolyte of the Sun or the Librarian? Both very nice. Or we have the Ermine Seeker. Honestly, nothing here is super interesting. Oh, we can we can do the curve. I completely missed that. We should definitely do the curve. Okay, we can go for Houndmaster scouting. I don't think we have a Houndmaster yet, but that's still, we can take it. We have two different Houndmaster ones here as well. We actually already have one of these. But I think still we can take it um, and go through the curve. So the curve has some new additions with some of the new enemies that it's added. It's actually got an enemy down there that can deal a specific type of curse that's sort of like the Crimson Curse. It's not quite as brutal, but it's going to be interesting to see if any of our characters end up getting that. Because I believe the only way to remove it is to kill a Siren. And so we're going to have to be careful with that. So I think... I think actually I've got kind of a, a little idea here. Let's go with Ruby. Let's see where Ruby's going to play best. Ruby's going to play pretty nice from the back line here. She's got her aimed shot for um, mark targets damage and just regular damage. She's got a book shot for um, damage modifying and armor piercing. Uh, she's got her retreating shot. She can activate repost, which is actually quite nice. Um... And move herself back. And then she's also got Skeet Shot, which is going to bypass stealth, mark targets, and enemy party mark target. Oh, damn. 9% chance to mark everyone in the uh, enemy party. This going to be really good. And then, of course, of course, the two are going to fight side by side. Let's get Aurora in the back line here as well. These two are going to work very, very well together. And then I think we'll actually go with um, go with our keeper, Mary, here. And then the front line. Who are we going to have in the front line? Hammurabi could be quite nice. Victoria could be good. Um, Trell could be good too. Hmm. Trell could be very nice, actually. Bleed is going to be fairly effective back this way. Um, Urku. Bleed. Okay, so... Can you do anything from the front line? You can do this from front line. Okay. Um, do everything but heal. Okay, so I think actually what we do is we move all of these up one. We put Urku in the back line and we use Trample. As you can see here, we, we did this tactic before. I think Trample's really, really nice. And yeah, we'll head into the curve here with these guys. Aurora and Ruby together adventuring once again. And let's get into here and see how we go. Let's buy some provisions, Get make sure we've got enough food. We'll go with 12 food. We'll go with two shovels. We'll go with three of these because I think there's a few more things that do um, lead here. Go with two of those. Actually, we'll go with three of those because you can do some good stuff with those. Two of those. And 12 of these. Cool, let's embark into the curve. And we have a diary entry here from Victoria, and I believe this one was written by Soft Roll. It's mind-boggling to see how a man can manifest into such horror with the right amount of stress. I felt bad for him. Aaron, I think his name was, but at least he pulled his weight and kept us alive, unlike Hammurabi. 
bit of shade being thrown at Hammurabi there. Right, so this is complete 100% of room battle, so we have to check this room behind us here. Thank God we brought extra shovels here. Oh no, we didn't. We only brought two. Okay, we're in a bit of a bad spot there. I thought we brought three. Okay, we need to be careful. We need to be careful. And here's our first battle. Luckily, we got the surprise off early, which is really, really nice. Um, so let's get let's get some bleed straight away on this guy. And there you go. You can see her beast. We can actually hit all of these like that. Gonna try and get the stress dealer gone. And trample. That does so much damage and it knocks everyone about. That's such a good attack. Urku is an absolute beast. I love I, I love using Urku. He you can tell that, that the uh the combat he partook in for those horrible, horrible people in that uh in that arena really trained him up and helped him get ready for this. Let's uh heal you up. Go with... I'm going to go with Buckshot again just hit everyone. Get everyone low. To take a little bit of damage there. Let's maim you. Oh, a miss, unfortunately. Let's finish you off. Okay, he is going to he is gonna protect him, so now we can't attack the backline guy. But that's okay. Oh, she's taking a lot of damage already. Let's, uh, let's get a little bit of healing here from uh, Aurora. And we'll also heal ourselves as well. Get a bit of restoration and a little bit of stress healing going. And we can go for an attack there. Of course, it will hit the frontline guy, but that's fine. Um, so that would mark ourselves, increase our stress gained, but it would activate repost. Um, I think we'll just go for maim for now. Let's try and take him out with a bit of bleed as well. Lovely. Oh, everyone's going for our keeper right now. Mary is really taking a beating straight away. But don't worry, the range attack that we've got right now is, is going well. Either way, I'm going to keep on with the healing and make sure we get her back up to uh, a healthy state. Urku can actually sustain a very, very good amount of um, of damage. So that's not too bad. And let's smack you. No taken care of. I'm hoping we get like an extra chance to heal here. Thank you for that dodge, Urku. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's just shoot on one of these bodies for now. And go for some more healing. So, the good combo with this is it only heals from 5% maximum HP, but it can be comboed nicely with um, Aurora's uh, ability to increase healing received, which is nice. So, right now, we're only dealing very minimal heals, but it still works nicely. There you go. Get Urku back up to nearly full, and then just finish him off with a maim. No! Urku. Why you missed? Don't worry, though. We've got the speed to, to finish this off. Sadly. Oh, damn. Um, plus 10% max HP, plus 10% protection, we get uh, extra blight duration and minus blight resist. That's very nice. We could go into here, but it requires a shovel and we can't risk that. Um, I think we'll give that to Urku, like, right now. Uh, Urku being, uh, get, getting extra maximum HP and extra defense is going to be lovely. Very, very nice indeed. Um, right, let's keep moving on. So sadly, we can't open that. I thought I brought more shovels with us, but apparently I only brought two. I, I, I meant to bring three. I meant to bring three. I always want to bring three on these adventures here, because they can be very problematic if you don't have enough. Okay, so this is... That's relief. I can never remember what this does. Just touch it. Nice. That's the one, That's what it does. It gives you like 50% chance to get a good uh, thing. A good quirk, which I'm very happy about. Okay, this guy. This is the dude. He needs to die straight away. We cannot let him hit anyone. He's got to go. He's got to go. No. Okay, thank God. He, did, he didn't do the right way. He did, he, did a, he did a stress move, which is terrible. We're in a bad spot here. Okay, thank God. He didn't get a chance to do it. He needs to go straight away. He can give a curse that can be pretty brutal. It's, it's actually a good curse to have because it increases your damage, but it means that your, your friendlies have a chance to... Um, have a chance to hurt themselves, which is obviously not good. Let's just do some stress relief here. Get some uh, restoration going. Okay, we did take some bleed there. We got some bandages though. Don't worry about that. Urku's fine. Let's heal up uh, Ruby here. These two work well together. Right. Do this. Maim you. Nice one, Urku. That is a big hit. A big hit there. And we'll go for some more healing. Really, she wants to keep Ruby topped up as much as she can. Let's 
And there you go. We made it through that pretty easily. We got a timeless cure for the oldest sickness, hair of the dog. Okay, so I believe, if I remember correctly, this here is um, is the thing that we need to get, like another update that's been added to get rid of this curse. So if we do end up taking on this curse, we can use Hair of the Sea, which is really nice to have. I think that's what that does. I've not seen it before at least, so there you go. And this is why we needed our other shovel. I'm kind of hoping we get more shovels going soon, because otherwise we're going to be in a bit of trouble here. And here's another one of the guys that can give us the curse, I believe. Okay, we got stunned straight away, which is pretty bad. I also didn't reorganize my group, which I really should have done. I forgot to do that. Twice in a row now, actually. Let's just get all of them. Take you on. Just want to be taking him out as quickly as possible. I think he's dead now. Oh, no, it didn't bleed him. It didn't bleed him. Okay, he is stunned, so he's going to miss his turn there, sadly. Oh, this is a pretty, this is a pretty bad, uh, bad group of enemies here. Stun, we got stun, we got bleed, we got uh, curse, we got stress. It's just all sorts of bad. We'll take him out first. Let's. Unfortunately, um, Aurora's really getting very stressed, and there's not much we can do about it. Unfortunately, we don't really have much stress healing we can do to ourselves. Let's heal up Urku here. A crit for ten. That's beautiful. And we'll heal you there. Take you out. Okay, that's a good hit. Unfortunately, resisted bleed, which is a real shame. And more stress on Aurora here. She is going to take an absolute beating here. I think you need the healing most, don't you? There you go. Okay, she needs to go pretty soon. We're going to get stunned here. And critted, which is more stress. She unfortunately resolved. Please. Yes. Come on, Aurora. You absolute beast. Right, let's get some bleed healing done here. Oh no, Urku, you can't be missing like that, please. Also, stop stunning everyone, you stupid jellyfish. That miss for Urku there was very pivotal here. Very pivotal indeed. That's That's been very, very bad for us. Okay, has anyone got extra heal amount received? Let's go for you. Okay, Ruby. Come on. I know you're stunned. Just don't be. Thank you. Okay, it's all up to you two. I know Aurora can't hit from the front line, so that's not great. She resisted the stun at least. Let's go for a bit of healing on herself and some stress relief. Let's, uh... Let's smack you. Activate Mark and repost. Okay, good. Strike you down. Yes. Beautiful hit there, Ruby. Beautiful hit. Sally's coming in handy. Fortunately, we keep getting stunned here, which is not good. Jellyfish are pretty brutal on us. Oh, Urku's accuracy is just so bad right now. He just keeps missing. Let's go for some heals here while we can get them. While we can get them. Extra five there. And there you go. We'll finish you off. Stress is not looking great. Um, Thrall. Ooh, there you go. So let's just... Let's just take that and put that on you. Take the gold. Oh my god, that's done already. Okay. That's actually really useful because we are, we are hurting a bit. We are hurting a bit here. Let's scout and see if we can get much further. Okay, yeah, let's 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 go over here and get all of these um, curios at least. 60, 50, 60, 70. Need a bit of stress relief anyway, so that's nice. I'm sorry, but you're getting left. We'll put out the light just so we get a little bit more from our curios here. We don't have any shovels for this, sadly. This could be bad, but I'm going to try it. No! Nah, that was so bad. That was good. Let's get rid of uh, 
uh, bandages here and take that. We didn't get any scouting. Okay, let's let's just leave now. We're in a bit of a bad way. Nice bit of gold there. Ruby and Aurora both taking on. Plus 20% stress of medical herbs are in inventory. Ooh, that's not great. And plus minus 25% stress healing received at camping. Both not great, but they'll have to do for now. Let's uh let's take a look. You will know the tragic extent of my failings. At what we need to get done here. So Urku has just been taking on stress like a mohucker. I don't think he has anything that's gonna um affect him too badly. Let's put him in. We have to spend some money here, sadly, but let's put him in at the uh, peace room meditation. Aurora, she took a bit on. Let's let her pray to a higher power. Rune's still pretty stressed. Rune can uh, Rune can go for um, a bit of this. I know we're spending a lot of our money on stress healing everyone right now. And it may seem like a bad idea because we need our money for, for other things. But honestly, these are our people that we're trying to keep. We're going to have to make some sacrifices. We're going to have to sometimes spend a little more than we'd want to. It's sad, but we are. Um, right. Let's do some upgrading here. So... Damn, I really should have done that before I did all these. Let's do all of these. Yeah, get all of them done. Increase the stress recovery for all of those. I didn't. I don't know. Maybe that'll help. Maybe that'll help, even though they're already in there. I actually have no idea. And then, how much is it to do the costs on this one? Six shields. Let's do a little bit of trading then. Let's reduce training costs. And then, can we reduce costs here as well? It's four of those and four of those. Yeah, let's do that. And reduce costs there. That's going to be good for us in the long run. So we've got quite a lot of people that are that are eligible for upgrades now. And not many people that are actually upgraded. Uh, we've only got like four or five people that are upgraded right now. So let's have a little look see, shall we? Um, who's going to be definitely useful for upgrading? So people that deal damage, obviously. So we'll go with you... Let's sell some trinkets that we don't need. We, I, I prefer not to sell trinkets, but we've got so many for characters we don't even need. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. That's pretty good. We'll sell that. That's pretty good. I'll sell that. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. We'll definitely put that on our abomination now. Okay. I think we'll keep the rest of those. Right, good. And then we can do a bit more upgrading. So, people that are going to be dealing a lot of attacks need upgrading, like, quickly. We'll get into upgrading skills later. Upgrade you. Um, Toria will upgrade you. I think Trell. Mm, we'll upgrade Trell yet. I haven't been using him too much. Um, let's upgrade sixth. Okay, we'll leave it at that for now because we're pretty low on money now. And let's see who our new recruits are. Let's see who else we're bringing in. So, we've got an Ermin Seeker. We've got a Dark Wraith. And we've got a Katasfra. I don't know how to pronounce that. That is a cat. I do not know how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what these people can do. So, we've got. Wow, she's got some. She's got some bazongas. A Roman seeker here. So she is going to be pretty good for um, some backline damage by the looks of it. Yeah, we got stun at the backline. We've got uh, de um, debuffs and 
uh, de-stealth. We've got bleed. And we've also got pull. She's going to be really, really, really effective, I think, as a backline. Um, we've also got this guy here, um, which I can't pronounce. He's going to have front line, a thrust there. He's got a heal, which is nice. <gasps> oh, if we can level this guy up and get his skills going. This would be very, very nice. Okay, so he's going to be very, very important to just get some skills going on. Uh, right now, he doesn't seem to have very many skills we want. In fact, I don't know if he's going to be very usable at all, you know, in his current state. Uh, although, he is level 1, which means he's got all his skills unlocked. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, just get that. So, we'll go with that, 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 and that. Because then we've got all things that work on the, on the, uh, the very front. Wait a minute. Is there any more that work on the very front? Hmm. Okay, so maybe we maybe we go with that as well, and then he plays the front two positions. We can all use these from 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 position one. He just plays the front two positions. Okay, he seems really really good. A dark wraith. This guy's a bit of an evil bugger. Oh, that purple looks good. Um, he is going to deal extra damage per darkness. He has um, suffer 8 HP damage, but he summons a burn wall, which is immobile. Guards the party while channeling. It's minus 40 speed and damage and extra stress. Okay, that's that's kind of brutal, but that seems really, really useful. The firebomb. Um, he's going to suffer damage and knockback, uh, but he's going to deal a lot of damage and extra damage to ranks 1 and 2. And here he has life steal, armor piercing, steal 2% max HP. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty good too. He's going to be kind of hard to use though. But those are our three. And we will go over their backstories in a moment. Okay, here we are with the backstories. First up for our Ermine Seeker, we have Morgana. And this backstory was by Friendly Shep. Morgana used to work at the Penance Hall, whipping and scarring those who had been scarred by the horrors they saw in the dungeon. It was all she did, day in, day out. She saw so many people allowing themselves to feel pain, just to not remember the horrors of what they saw. And it angered her. She wanted to end their suffering and pain by the only... But by ending the cause of it, she resigned from her job at the Penance Hall and joined the assault against the Darkest Dungeon. This is a great backstory for her. I mean, you can see she's she's actually got a whip as her main weapon, so she is going to be uh, she's going to be quite quite the quite the uh, force to be reckoned with within the Darkest Dungeon. I think she's going to be a great addition. Next up, we have Eon, our cataphract. And this is by Sofril. In a thundering cold night, the sky glimmered with a tint of cyan. Scientists assumed it was some sort of meteor shower, but it was much more than that. A huge comet hit the forest near the dungeon, and a strange blue fluid oozed into the nearby terrain. Saplings grew, and trees towered even higher. The forest seemed almost alive. But one night, a carriage passed by the forest, and it was attacked by a ghastly creature that fled from the dungeon. So the forest assembled Eon from different components of wildlife, metal from the nearby boulders and a blue flame for a head. Accompanied by his trusty steed, he defeated the creatures. Now Eon wants nothing more but to cleanse the dungeon and protect wildlife and creatures, and his healing abilities suit him very well with that role as he delves into the darkest dungeon. Now this is a bit more of an out there story, of course, but my god, I do like it. I do like it a lot. He's got some really, really interesting stuff with him there. Like, this is our first sort of more eldritch sort of ghastly ghostly figure but i, I really i really do like it taking taking something that's quite almost basic and making it into something really interesting definitely a, a really unique take on that soft roll and thank you for that backstory now as we move into our last one here we have willow our dark wraith and this backstory is written by friendly chef one shudders to think what foul acts and desires one must have taken to be reduced to such a horrid state. What do you think of every day in those shells they call bodies? Do they feel pain, sorrow, failure, all of the above? The answer to these questions are unknown, yet with every bit of information uncovered, all I find is more questions. And this was actually an excerpt from Isaac, a plague doctor, about Willow. I love that. That's a brilliant way to um, to tie characters in together. So Isaac, being being the uh, the person he is, studies life and he'd studied 
the Dark Wraith, and that was his exit. A another really nice way to tie things in. Really enjoyed that. But let's uh, let's get on and embark. We've got quite a lot to do here. So we still got the Necromancer's Apprentice waiting for us, but I just I don't I don't know if we can hold up to it yet. Um, that could be really nice. Plus five protection for a wraith. I don't think we have a wraith yet. But when we get one, that could be really, really good. In fact, do we have a wraith? I'm not sure. I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Okay. But let's have a little look. What, I, I, basically, I'm just looking for some really nice rewards here. Um, our exorcist. Ooh. Okay, that's actually very, very, very nice. That's a, that's a, that's gonna be our first medium battle as well. Okay, I think we're gonna actually go in for this. Um, this is gonna give us extra stress healing skills and extra protection, but we are gonna gain a little bit more stress. That's gonna be really, really nice. So this is gonna be a little bit of a hard one to the curve. So I think we're gonna take a few more of our our veterans, so to say. So let's um, let's go with. Eon, our new guy, is going to is going to be in the front line because he has some good healing abilities that you can use in the front line there. Um, let's put Clint in there as well. Clint can go. He is. It's been a little while since he's been out. He's been cured of his stress. Let's uh, let's see the best position for him. Honestly, putting him in position two is going to be really really nice. He can stun. He can mark, and then. Honestly, Dismas might be really, really nice here because he's going to be dealing extra damage against Marked as well. Um, doing a bit of bleed. And then we we'll probably want one more healer in the back line. So if we go with Dismas here. And then, yes, yeah, so if we can get one more healer in the back line. So we could go with Mary again. I mean, Mary's still... A little stress from our previous battle, so she's maybe not the best choice. Maggie was really useful before. We could actually go with Aaron himself, as he does have the ability to, to do a little bit of healing here. But sadly, a lot of his abilities aren't going to work in the front line. He won't really be able to do much damage. But this is a quest for a ring that he quite wants, so... I don't know. I, I re Really, we just need some, some good stress healing that we don't really have. Um, let's have a little look. See, see if anyone else that we've got here could do some some nice stress healing for us. Maggie, I don't think she has any stress heal, does she? Maggie doesn't have any stress heal. Okay, let's let's take let's take Aaron with us then. Uh, got a little bit of extra healing with him and a stress heal, and he can also mark target. Um, of course, it will add a block, but marking the target is going to be nice. Um, in fact, he might be able to. That might be one that he uses on his teammates. That that could be really good, actually. Okay, okay. I think we'll go with that. That's going to be quite nice. And let's head in. So, ooh, okay. So we can actually buy hair of the sea dog now. That's actually really nice. So this is if we get that sickness I spoke about earlier. So first of all, we'll take sixteen food. I think it's sixteen we need. Um, ooh, we, we, we might not have enough money for this, you know. I'm just thinking now, we might not have enough money. Um, let's see where we're at when, we, when we've got our torches. Yeah, we don't really have enough money for this. Um, we already sold everything as well. This is a shame. I, I was really hoping we'd be able to go somewhere here. Um, is there anything we could sell for a bit more? Twilight Night. Oh, that's so nice, though. Plus 7% crit. Hmm. Maybe, maybe we'll have to go for. We'll have to go for a level what? Uh, uh, one that isn't a medium, because a medium we just we just we just don't have enough money for this. I didn't even think of that. That is a. That's a shame because there's nothing really else we need particularly. Um. Because we need we need enough food. We've got to have enough torches. But then we need shovels as well, really. Everything else I can kind of go without, but we we, we have to be able to buy shovels. Um, so let, let's actually so let's let's have a look how much everything's going to cost. So we need bare minimum of like twelve torches, bare minimum of twelve food, 
And then shovels. We need three of those. Hmm. This could be difficult. This could be difficult. I think we're going to have to unfortunately take the short the short battle here and go for the uh, go for the lesser rewards just because we're just a little short on money and I really don't want to have to sell anything really. We've got we've got some nice stuff here and we already sold a lot of trinkets. So that's a little bit of a shame. My first medium adventure is going to be uh, going to be sacked off, but I am still going to stick with this group. I think this group is going to work well together. Um I, I really want I really want Aaron to um to, to get involved. Although Hmm. I might swap Clint out for our Dark Wraith, maybe. Although will our Dark Wraith even work with the Exorcist? He will, okay. Uh or we could go with Morgan, she's pretty good. She can use this, this, this. She needs a lot of this from the back line. Okay, let's go with Morgana here. Okay, let's let's take out the new guys. Let's let's test out the new guys, and Aaron can stay in the back with a little bit of stress healing, and let's just go for this, shall we? Last time he got pretty stressed, but it was okay. We also come with a flask of agony, used to gain immunity at death's door, for the price of your sanity. I think that's a dark rare thing there. So this time we need a lot less food, so we can take like ten food, two shovels. We can take ten torches. And then, like, 1-1. One, one. Okay, that, that, that's going to have to be it, sadly. We're not really bringing much with us here, but we are ready to embark. We are ready to go ahead. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. I didn't realize we were so low on funds, but that's the cost of keeping everyone sane. Unfortunately, out of character here, when you do normally play a Darkest Dungeon, you can kind of throw away people that are really, really stressed, but we are not doing that. We are, we are trying to keep whoever we can with us, and that does lead to some situations where we're having to deal with um, higher stress and, and spend the money to, to get rid of it. Uh, so we've got bandages on this already. In fact, I really need the funds, so I'm going to just go for it. And this is why we need the shovels. Already we found one. Okay, we've got two new enemies here. These two have been swapped around, but that should be fine. Okay, so first things first, we can do this. This is going to buff his speed. Okay, let's just check out what health people have first. So you've got 30 and you've got 16. Dark Wraith has not a lot of health. So let's do that on, let's do that on you. It's going to mark him, give him an Aegis block. It's also going to give him um, extra damage and crit. That's really nice, that is. Um... We can go for bleed, we can go for pull. Let's just go with a piercing um, bleed, and we can debuff their protection as well on this guy here. Unfortunately, resisted the debuff. Um, just go for the dark sword. Unfortunately, I missed there. Unfortunate from Willow. A little bit of extra stress there, but we have got a block here. We actually got marked even more, thank you. Um, let's try and take this guy out. Ooh, a nice big crit from Eon there. Lovely, lovely. Everyone's still pretty healthy. Only really Willow that's taking on some stress, but we can hopefully cure that as we go. Got three people here that are um, that are marked. Let's just get a little bit of heal on Willow there. Remove his um, marks. We really don't want him marked at any point here. Uh, and let's go for a double stun here. Sadly, that's a big, big whiff there from um, Morgana. That's that's sad. But we can go for a kill on this. I think Eon's going to be really um, a forefront hitter here. Um, life drain. That's going to deal less damage. Steal. Maximum health. Ooh, that's really nice. I like that a lot. Plus two max health. That's going to be very useful. Ooh, we did get... Um, ooh, what's this? She's taken um, something new here. I've not seen this before. Is that a stun and a move in, in one move there? We've still got our block going on on Eon here, so that's really nice. So, I'm wondering what's going on with her here. We'll have to look at that. Parasites are drawn to dead meat. Plus 50% damage re received until camp. Oh my god, that's brutal. Let's try and whip this guy into the front line. Nice. Finish you off. Almost. Oh, okay, okay, he's secured. I see, I see. 
Willow's there doing all right. We'll give you a... In fact, let's do a little bit of stress healing here. Get rid of the body. Everyone gets a tiny bit of stress healing. It's not a lot, but it'll do. I'm actually really liking this composition here. Oh my god, she's uh, she's got a parasite on her now. Both of these have taken blight. We should be fine, though. Um, let's go for a party-wide heal here and get everyone back up to full. And then finish him off with Willow. Honestly, this group works really, really nicely together. Um... I'm not sure where that parasite went. It said that we're going to have that until camp, but it doesn't seem that we do anymore. We're going to be taking a little bit of damage on both of these two, but it's not worth using anything on yet. I think actually we're going to be okay here. These birds definitely seem like enemies that need to be uh, taken care of very quickly. Unfortunately, Morgana there with a miss. Uh, we can just heal up here, though. Don't worry about that. We are going to take reduced speed, though, whenever we use that, which is annoying. And unfortunately, I stun a Morgana there, but she has already made her move, so I'm not as bothered by that. Eon, you absolute beast. You absolute beast. And Willow with a big hit there. It actually seems as well, I'm, I'm looking at it now, that we actually lose a little bit of light when using Willow to attack, which is interesting, actually. I kind of like that mechanic. Um, let's heal up Willow again. Let's have a little look into that next time we play as uh, Willow. So this is actually going to reduce our torch by five. So as he plays combat, we actually lose a bit of light, which is going to in turn give us a little bit more stress, but hopefully more rewards and more damage with him in general. Uh, let's go for a party heal here. Very, very big party heal there. Crit six. We are taking quite a lot of stress here. Um, let's try and whip you. A big crit there from Morgana. Thank you very much. And let's just finish you off. Oh, sadly a miss there. Um, we can get a little bit more healing Morgana here and remove that mark. I'm really liking the ability to remove the mark here. Aaron's actually doing a great job. She is not very resistant to stuns at all. Oh my god. Willow must have very low accuracy. We are missing a lot with Willow. A lot. We need to um need to heal her up. Oh, sadly only three. That's not very good. I'm gonna put a protection on her just because she's just been terrible recently. Right, can you finally hit? Thank you. Are you to care? We just gotta be careful with the amount of torches we have. Stun that boy. I wanna get this body cleared with um with Aaron here. I'm just gonna move them to. There you go. Just get a little bit of stress healing on everyone. Damn. Every time he misses, he's not very accurate at all. Take all that. Jig these around a bit. Right, so let's have, have a little look at his accuracy, because it's really bad. Really not hitting a lot at all. Oh my god, death blur resist. 73%. That's insane. Uh, we'll light up a little bit there. We don't want to use too many torches, because I do want to keep his uh, damage up. We'll actually play into this. Get ourselves extra food. That's nice. We can give ourselves some healing here with this extra food. We do have a lot now. Can you eat any more? No, you're full. You can eat one more. Okay. Good, good. Pretty happy with this composition so far. Um, d having two stress dealers in the back there is really not good. Uh, I'm just going to try and go for a stun here. We just got stun on one, but unfortunately resist on the other. We are probably going to take a lot of stress here. Oh, no. Willa. Willa. No. Oh, that's a lovely kill on that guy. But we are going to have to destroy the body. If Will this destroy the body? It will. Lovely. Bit of stress healing as well. Very nice to see. Let's try and take one of these out. Oh, no. E on a miss. That is not good. Um, we can go for a double stun here, though. Got a stun on both. That's very, very important. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna need some serious stress healing on um on Willow here. He's really taking a beating. Uh, valid above sixty percent HP. Summon a burn wall. Um, is gonna immobilize guard party. Three HP. One block power protection while channeling. Lots of stress pair round. We can't be we can't be doing that. Let's just go for a life train maybe. You. Yeah, it's lovely. Get us up to full health. Just try and take these stress dealers out as quick as possible. We want to be leaving bodies even in the middle because that's going to be really nice. Thank you for resisting that. Okay, try and take out you. Come on. If we can get both of these bodies in one fell swoop here, 
Um, this won't kill. This won't kill this dude, will it? No. Good. Okay. Let Aaron go. He needs to clear up the bodies. This should be a good amount of stress healing here. Only four each, though. That's not as much as I was hoping for. And there's a big crit from Morgana. Honestly, these guys are playing so well. Jar of Slime. Plus 20% stun resist. Oh, wait. Minus 10 maximum HP. On hit. Self heal. Th Ooh, that is very nice. That is very nice. Unfortunately, we don't have any keys here. Can we open these without keys? Yeah, we can. Cool. Right. Um. Honestly, what's his stun resist already? He's already 50%. 30%. 20%. This could make him very powerful. Let's uh, let's 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 put that on. We're gonna take a little bit of a hit to maximum HP. Only three though. Um, we've got a quirk for ten percent protection, which is really nice. That's really nice, in fact. Uh, and yeah, the ability to randomly get heals on hit is gonna be absolutely huge for us. I'm very happy to see that. We'll fully torch up here. We're probably gonna end up running out of torches here. We've got a shovel to get through this. Oh wait, yeah. Okay, no. I thought I, I thought we had an extra torch for some reason then, but we we still only have the one. We all need to eat. Luckily, everyone's doing pretty well here, apart from Willow. But then again, I think Willow is sort of the character that probably thrives on stress. So we don't need to particularly worry about his well-being too much. That's a lot of room battles. Oh, my God. I was going to say we could maybe go back around, but there's battles there as well. We're going to have to take this battle. That's a little bit upsetting to see. I was really hoping to not take too many more battles, especially with these damn birds. These birds are brutal. And the stuns are coming in hot and heavy as well. Luckily, we don't have any stress dealing here, though. He is double stunned. That is not good. Let's take out the bird. That needs to go. Um, stun resist 50%. Nah, let's just go for a, a smack. Oh, Morgana, no. Morgana is letting us down big time here. Big time. A few of the, a few of the people, like both Morgana and Willow, have, have just been doing terrible with accuracy today. It's not, it's not good. Finish that guy off. And there's that three heal. Oh, what the hell is that thing? That's a parasite right there. That is a parasite right there. A nice big crit on you. I really don't know what this means here. Does this mean we have a chance to be stunned on anything? So it's only got 10 HP. Oh, Willow! Oh, thank God they missed there. Willow is really letting the side down, though. Like, it's 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 kind of crazy, actually. Oh, I don't know what that does. Oh. Okay. We need to take out this thing here, this parasite. It's going to be debuffing everyone. We need to do a party heal here, I think. In fact, let's just go for a full heal now. And two. Oh, wouldn't be better off doing a party heal. God damn it. Try and steal some HP from you. Nice bit of healing there. Get protection going. Okay. Willow is just teetering on the edge of absolute self-destruction here. Um, I really love the animation for that attack, by the way. It's brilliant. Whoa. Okay, so he's taken that stun. Nice block there. That seems like it's actually pretty good. Let's... Oh, you... Oh, baby, I'm getting so annoyed at you. I just... I don't know what's going on. Oh, no, reinforcements are in. I didn't know we'd taken that long. Okay, thanks for the misses. He's still stunned. Okay, and that's a big hit on us there. I didn't realize we were still stunned. Okay, nice. Bit of debuffing there. Still need to heal ourselves up here. Sadly, Aaron's been taking a bit of a beating, although he's been doing a lot better for stress this time. I think he's kind of learned his lesson and, like, smart, wised up a little bit, so to say. Oh, big heal on six there. Lovely. And that is a huge one. Huge one there from Willow. Thank you very much. Everyone's getting stunned out here, though. Thank God we're getting a few misses. Let's go for the corpse removal. It's going to help everyone out and hopefully de-stress a little bit. And it did. Oh, no, Eon, please. 
stop missing everybody, god damn. There you go, big hit there. And let's go for a heal on ourselves yet again. Crit of four is brilliant. Okay. Finish you off, finally. That was a bit of a, a bit of a, a tough battle there, actually. Um, let's double light up. I know we're very much running out of torches here, but we should be okay. We've just got some new bandages that we can use straight on this. Get a little bit of extra gold. The sack here for us as well. We've, we've earned a decent amount from this, at least. And here we are. We've got two wolves. These guys can give us rabies, so these guys have to, like, go very quickly. Um... Let's, uh, let's just go for the backline one and try and reduce his accuracy a lot. And then, can we kill this guy in one hit? We can technically hit him for 10. I'm going to try it. Willow! Oh, Willow is just... He's twisting my giblets. He's really not playing to his strengths at all. And please don't get contracted. No rabies, please. Okay. No rabies yet. Finish you off. These dogs are really high priority. No, no, no. Oh, thank you, Aaron. Aaron has really... He's come a long way. He, he, he really has. Get you back up at the front line. We have to self-heal here. Another big six heal. There you go. There we go. The dog is gone. Good, good, good. And let's get some bleed on you. These guys are pretty susceptible to bleed. They do some hard hits, though. Okay, at least he's going for the guy that can that can heal himself up. Bit of life drain there. Bit more healing on you. Sadly, it doesn't cure the bleed that we've got on us at all. Which is a little bit of a shame. We're going to have to keep healing here. Only two, though. That's a real shame. You seem to only get two or six. We are taking some heavy... Heavy hits here. Let's just go for a party heal. Everyone needs it. We need the life train as well. This is just kind of... It's going... It's weird. It's going bad, but it's also not. <laughs> we can keep... We can just keep upping his maximum HP, like, loads. That seems to always hit for three as well. Always. Uh, miss there, unfortunately. She's shedded the bleed off of her. Okay. And there you go. We finished that fight out. Not too bad. Again, we do have a lot of food to heal our heroes up here. I'd really like to get some uh, stress relief here on uh, on Willow before we go, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. Okay. Is it worth adventuring further and risking risking more? Or is it worth just leaving here? Hmm, I'm a bit conflicted here. I'm a little bit conflicted. How many torches do we have left? Three. Okay, let's let's just go until our torches are out, shall we? Everyone's doing all right. Okay, we got scouting here. That's actually really nice. Good, good, good. We can just get these last two curios. Got bandages for that. We got ourselves snake charmer gloves, and we got that. Okay, nice. Okay, I maybe should have gone for the uh, the trap disarm for the extra stress relief, but I think that's I think that's a pretty good haul there. A pretty good haul indeed. That's really nice as well. Extra healing received while marked. That's nice because we can actually mark him with Aaron. That's that's a pretty good combination actually. Being able to mark them and then heal them with the same character. Okay. Right. So first off. We have to uh, put Willow in for a bit of stress relief here. Uh, I don't think he's going to want to pray, to be honest. I think he's going to be more of a... More of a drinking man. There you go. Let's put him in for that. I think Eon's actually fine. He should be relatively okay as we go here. Um, then next up, we have... Ooh. We have a lot of level 1s, which is really nice. Um, we have our Lamia, which we actually just got a story for, so that'll be coming soon. Uh, in the next episode. So I'm going to take the Lamia. Uh, I'm going to take the Mitre. We are going to replace our Revenant. Oh wait, do we already have a level 1 Revenant? 
Although, one second. Uh, yeah, he's got level 2 gear, so... We can have a look at replacing him. So, Trell here. Um, we have put some work into Trell, into getting rid of his stress. But, as I said, anyone that's level 1 or 2, we're allowed to replace with their counterparts. So, we'll replace Trell here. Um, wherever he's gone. Where has he gone? Wait, what? Your barracks are full. Okay, okay, I see, I see. One second. Let's, uh... Can we upgrade our barracks? We can. There you go. Barracks is a bit bigger now. Right. We're gonna take a... Let's see. We're gonna take a ruin or a seer? Um... Let's have a look at Ronan. Okay, we'll take a Ronan as well. And then we'll swap over our Revenant because it's got better gear. And honestly, these don't matter too much. But yes, uh, like I said, once we get past level 2 heroes, swapping out is going to be something we don't even do anymore. But for now, we are going to take on this guy... You are neutral. Even though we've put money into our previous Revenant, I I am still insistent that this is how this, uh, like, this is Trell pretty much. And we'll just dismiss you. There you go. And now we have a, a leveled up Trell. Because we wasn't actually, we didn't actually use that to get rid of any stress. Because as you saw, they were both on zero stress. So I feel like that's still warranted. And like I said, once we get past level two, we won't be even doing that anymore, like, at all. I haven't really checked the Nomad Wagon at all here. Hmm, there's a reason. Look at this. Uh, not really anything good, and one thing super expensive. Uh, let's do a few... Oh, we don't even have enough... We don't really have enough portraits to do any upgrades. Uh, let's have a little look at what we've got going on for next time here. Um, it's sad that we couldn't do that medium exploration, but maybe this time uh, on the next episode we'll be able to. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed here. We are getting a really, really nice group of people now. So let's, um, let's just take who we got there. So we got... This guy, this guy, and where are you? Where is... Where's our last one that we, that we just picked up? Our mitre. Mata. I don't see him at all. Did I take him? I didn't, that's why. Okay. So there's our next three. So I'll quickly go over them. Of course, when we've got a level one, uh, it comes with level two gear already, and it already comes with all its skills unlocked. So she's going to be really nice for stress healing and healing, and she also has a, um, a different form in which she takes, which we can use to do a bit of extra damage, which is really nice. Uh, we've also got our Mitre. He's pretty interesting. You can you can do a lot of really nice healing with a Mitre, as you can see here. He's very much a sort of help others to hurt himself. He will heal people for up to 13, but he's going to cause himself bleed. So if you, if you have someone that can cure bleed and things, then he's a very good combo. Some, someone similar to Isaac, our Plague Doctor here, who has abilities um, such as... This one here, battle, uh, Battlefield Medicine, where you can heal, cure, blight, and bleed. They're, they're like a really, really good combination. And then Aaron, as we saw, he's, he's going to be just a pretty good one all around. And we can also take things like Calming Zen, where we're going to stun ourselves, put stress heal for 17 and heal for 7. So they could be really, really nice. Um... But yes, we'll uh, we'll look into those in in the uh, in the future episodes. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Please let me know if you want to write any more backstories. People have been joining every day, writing up backstories for all the characters we have. We are really getting up there in the characters now. We've got twenty six, and we've got twenty three of those with backstories, and we have a few of those set up. But yeah, um, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.